Hello. I'm Sally, your host. Welcome to the third board, my master's chess channel. In this video, I will show you the conclusion of the game played between Soviet Russian Grand Masters, Vasily Smyslov, and Alexander Kotov, in Moscow, 1943. If you have not watched part 1, I recommend you watch it first. Just click the link above. So, let's continue the game. As we watched in the last video, in this position, Alexander Kotov had black and played. Pawn to f6. Preventing white's knight coming to g5. Did you find a way for white to break black's defense? In this position, Vasily Smyslov plays. Knight to f5. Smyslov sacrifices the knight to open the position. He explains that it is a move typical of these positions. White does not desire to recover material immediately. I quote Smyslov. One should not calculate concrete variations here, but rather rely on an appraisal of the position based on general principles. The game continues with Pawn takes knight. Although this is not a bad move, Stockfish recommends pawn to g5, refusing the sacrifice. The game could have continued with Queen to g3, preparing pawn to h4, Knight to e5. This knight is going to f7, in order to reinforce the g5 pawn h4 knight to f7 queen to h2 queen to c7 to exchange queens and the position would be slightly better for white let's return to the game after pawn takes knight the game continues with g takes pawn Opening the G-file and at the same time, attacking the knight. Knight to C7. Black could also have played knight to G5, and the game could have continued with. Bishop takes knight. F takes on G5. Knight takes pawn check. King to H8. Knight to E6. Rook from D to E8. Knight takes on G7. Queen takes Knight. Rook to G1. And White would be better. Let's return to the game. After Knight to C7, White plays. Rook to G1. Well, we just arrived at another interesting position of the game. White now has two threats. Can you see them? If you wish to try, pause the video now. If black does nothing to defend himself, for example playing a random move like pawn to a6, the first threat white can execute is bishop takes on h6. And after that, bishop takes bishop. Rook to g6. And black would have to play, queen to g7, losing the queen, in order to avoid mate. Let's return to the beginning of the variation. The second threat is, rook takes on g7 check. Smyslov suggests this move as a possible variation, but for stockfish, this move is a mistake because bishop takes on h6 is better. It's very difficult to satisfy the wise fish. After rook takes on g7, 
the game could continue with. Queen takes on g7. Taking with the queen is better. If king takes rook, we would have rook to g1 check. King to f7. Queen to h5 check. King to e7, forced. And rook to g7 check, winning. Let's return to the beginning of the variation. After queen takes on g7, white could continue with rook to g1. Queen takes rook check. Trying to save the game. King takes queen. Rook to f7. Freeing valuable space for the king to escape. Rook to g8 check would achieve nothing, and the h6 pawn, of course, is already dead. Bishop takes on h6. It's better that taking with the queen, because the bishop prevents the black rook from going to g7. Rook from d, to d7. Knight to h4. King to g8. Queen to g3 check. And white would be much better. Let's return to the original position. You saw white's threats. And now, I have another question for you. How can black defend his position? What is black best response? I chose two candidate moves for the second player. There are more moves, but if I analyzed all of them here, you would get sleepy, wouldn't you? Both these moves reinforce the g7 bishop. They are Rook to f7 And knight to e8 According to Stockfish, only one of these moves is the best one. But white would still be better. The other move, although is not a blunder, is a inferior move, and after that, black's position would become very difficult. If you wish to try to find black's best response, pause the video now. According to the engine, the best move for black here is, rook to f7. And after that, the game could continue like this. Rook to g2. Rook to h8. Knight to h4. King to g8. Knight to g6. Rook to h7. Bishop to f4 h5 and white would be better but not by much however in the game coat off plays knight to e8 smith's love responds with rook to g6 stockfish prefers bishop takes on h6 the game continues with rook to f7 it was better to play rook to h8, in order to protect the h6 pawn after retreating the king. For example, rook from b to g1, king to g8, and white would be better, but not by much. Let's return to the game. After rook to f7, white continues with rook from b to g1. King to g8. Rook takes on h6. King to f8. Rook to h7. King to e7. Queen to h5. King to d6. This move is a mistake. Black is already in a dreadful situation. An alternative for black is rook to c8, trying to retreat the king to d8. The game could continue like this. Knight to g5. 
Pawn takes knight. Bishop takes pawn check. King to d6. Bishop to f4 check. King to e7. f6 check. Knight takes on f6. Rook from g, takes on g7. But the position would still be difficult for black. Let's return to the game. After king to d6, white continues with. Bishop to f4, check. Knight to e5. Closing the diagonal. But according to the engine, this was another mistake. The better move here is, king to e7. Observe in the following variation, how stockfish defends this position. Queen to g6. Rook to c8. h4. King to d8. h5. Rook to e7. h6. Bishop to f8. Rook takes on e7. Knight takes on e7. Queen to h5. Bishop takes on h6. Queen takes on h6. But still, white's position would be much better. Let's return to the game. After knight to e5, white continues with. Bishop takes on e5 check. F takes on e5. F6. Knight takes on f6. It was better to take the pawn with the rook, but the game is already lost for black anyway. Queen takes on e5, check. King to c6, forced. Rook from h, takes on g7. King to b5. Knight takes on d4, check. The pawn is pinned. King to b6. b4. Threatening the c4 pawn. Rook to c8. Defending the pawn with the rook. Black could also have took the knight with the queen, defending the pawn and giving up the f7 rook. White continues with. Rook takes on f7. Queen takes on f7. Queen to d6, check. Rook to c6, forced. Knight takes rook. Knight takes pawn. Pawn takes pawn, check. And in this position, Alexander Kotov resigned. Did you like this game? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want notifications of more content like this, please subscribe to this channel. And if you want to make a request regarding some game from the past, leave a comment below. If the game has sufficient research material, my master may consider your request. We wish you good luck in your chess. Thank you, and see you again. Goodbye.